Welcome to Ken Bowden Outdoors as conservation banquets start to wrap up towards the end of the year. It's the Rainwater Basin for Ducks Unlimited to be held Friday, December 1st at the Fairfield Opera House. Doors open at 5 p.m. Then the Bridgeport Dinner. Way out west, Saturday, December 2nd, Prairie Winds Community Center. Doors open at 6 p.m. Deer season continues. Today, of course, was the last day. Keep sending those pictures my way. This was sunrise in the Nebraska Sand Hills, one of the areas for the Mule Deer Conservation Action. 1,000 permits in this unit. This is up in Custer County, and my grandson, Owen, grandson, Eli, and daughter, Nicole. She's saying, don't take my picture. And then son, Chad, cooking on the grill. We rough it out there in the field. This is lunchtime, and it's all about that family get-together, not necessarily the hunt. Of course, we're trying to fill those mule deer tags. There are only a thousand available in that unit, 3,000 statewide. That is down from 5,000 mule deer permits given out last year. The reason the mule deer, not the numbers, they used to be. They are down drastically because of brain worm problems and also EHD maybe even some chronic waste disease. We saw more mule deer this year in the opening weekend than we have in several years. So that is promising. The bucks that we saw, probably two-year-old bucks. We did see one probably around three years old. When the Game and Parks first opened the season, 1945, only 275 mule deer taken, only two whitetail. That was up in Halsey. Of course, those numbers have increased dramatically, but now it has reduced those numbers. Out-of-state hunters, only 10,000 permits allowed. Well, here are some permits uh, takers with crossbow, and this is Ryan Brumbaugh. He got his uh, deer during the archery season. And then there's Ryan Gerber with a nice buck that he took recently as rifle season opened up. And here is Dawson Bykirk. He's age 11 and this is his first buck. He's pretty proud of that. Tony Morrow, good friend with a very nice wide, 20 inch wide as a matter of fact, white tailed deer and his granddaughter, Jara. She bags a doe with a rifle. She is 15. And there is the result of Jarrah's doe. She made a great shot and dispatched of that deer quite well. And always good eating those does. Of course, season choice is coming up. Muzzle loader season is coming up as well as we look at sunset in the Nebraska sand hills. Remember, send your pictures my way, Kent Bowden 2023 at gmail.com. And also remember, take a young person hunting or fishing. Don't forget us older folks either. Music